Hello everyone, welcome to instrumentation tools. Let's open the app quiz meter. So, so far we have completed 5 levels in PLC topic. So, under the PLC topic, we have PLC true or false statement questions. So, in that we have completed 5 levels already. So, let's start the level 6. So, the first question solid understanding of the plc program and process logic is unnecessary for troubleshooting so without understanding the process how come a person can troubleshoot correct so it is very very difficult for the one who is not knowing about or understanding the you know what is the purpose of that application what is the program running inside the plc what are the inputs and outputs are connected and what is the logic of the application like these kind of information if someone is not knowing it is really really difficult for the person to troubleshoot correct so a deep understanding of the plc program and process logic is must for effective troubleshooting knowing how the program operates what each part of the code does how the logic sequences works and how the process is supposed to function so these are all the clue to find out if a person knows all these a person can easily get a clue that where the exact problem is arised okay so obviously it is really necessary for the person to understand the plc logic and also the program what is you know what are the even not only the program also the hardware parts like what is this power supply we have given to that and uh, what is actually coming and uh, what are the IO modules we have connected or any other special modules we have connected to this or not so these kind of information the person should know so I'm going with the answer false because the question is a solid understanding of the PLC program and process logic is unnecessary they have given unnecessary so I'm going with this uh, answer false so let's move on to the next one using unauthorized or incompatible spare parts is acceptable as long as the PLC system appears to function normally so the question is like I can use some unauthorized component along with the PLC to make the application possible okay but for the long run what is the uh, you know uh, warranty for that correct so obviously when it comes to the uh, special purpose machines so for special purpose machines only we will be using this PLC as a controller right so the important of that application is most valuable right so using such unauthorized or incompatible spare parts in the PLC system can lead to some unpredictable behavior and it can reduce our, the performance of the CPU and increase to more failure rates. Safety risk is also there and uh, you know the potential warranty avoidance will be there. Even if the system appears to function normally initially for the long integrity, reliability and these and all will be the questionable okay so I'm going with the answer false so moving on to the third question isolating the problem area is unnecessary when troubleshooting the PLC system so a uh, troubleshooting to you know to identify where the exact problem to identify that it is good to isolate some area okay isolating the problem area is unnecessary they have given for example if one of the uh, module IVO module you have connected to the PLC is right you know it's showing an error it's throwing an error in that case you can remove that and cross check okay so isolating the problem area is actually one of the crucial step in PLC troubleshooting by you know by uh, by taking this area out whether that particular IVO module or communication link or the sensor or what may be the you know hardware part the troubleshooting process make up become more focused like we can concentrate on okay this is the problematic area what is the problem over here whether the power supply is not coming properly or uh, uh, any other uh, uh, you know fault uh, diagnostics we have to cross check 
for that particular module so though these kind of uh, things you know uh, will make our troubleshoot more faster okay so isolation help to eliminate some unnecessary testing of unaffected parts right and it saves our time you know we can able to solve the issue more soon okay so isolating is actually a good but here they have given us unnecessary so i am going with the answer false so moving on to the next question offline simulation tool can aid in troubleshooting by replicating the plc system behavior in controlled environment so this is actually uh, you know true because when it comes to the uh, big picture for example your application is so big okay in that case you cannot implement everything in the shop floor and making it happen and obviously so much of manpower and so much of you know power supplies will be there there are so much of it costs so much okay so before going into the big picture you can make everything into the small picture kind of like simulation tools okay so those simulation tools will help you to Uh, you know find out uh, okay this is the application and if it goes like this it will come like this like that you can do the simulation and you can find out the you know problem for example you have written a uh, old plc program for your application you can uh, you know uh, couple this uh, plc program with this offline simulation and you can cross check uh, where your uh, uh, if your program is having any issue we can able to identify and we can able to solve before going into the shop floor so yes i'm going with the answer yes for this because this offline simulation tool troubleshooting by replicating the plc system behavior in the controlled environment yes i'm going with the answer yes so communication issue in a plc network can often be resolved by restarting the plc actually i can tell this is a myth but sometimes it will work but not all time okay it's it's not a definitive uh, solution but communication problem can stem from various sources such as network configuration errors uh, faulty cables incorrect addressings so these kind of issues are there some sometimes incompatible devices and noise interference also so proper troubleshooting of uh, communication issue requires careful examination testing so not only this uh, you know restarting the plc so i'm going with the answer false so regular maintenance and periodic inspection can prevent many common plc troubleshooting issues actually it is true no if you have a regular maintenance and what is happening so these kind of hardware maintenance if you keep on doing in some time interval means your your uh, uh, you know troubleshooting issues will obviously it will get reduced okay so regular maintenance and this periodic inspection proactive monitoring of the plc system can easily identify the potential problem you know some inconsistencies before they escalate into the significant issues preventive measures including cleaning tightening the connections updating firmware for the softwares calibrating the sensors checking batteries so these are all will be some health call for the machines right so yes regular maintenance reduce uh, you know prevent Uh, many common plc troubleshooting issues so i am going with the answer true troubleshooting a plc system only requires knowledge of the plc itself without understanding the connector process or machinery so this is actually wrong right if you are going for the troubleshooting obviously uh, you should know all the components related to that project correct i mean project in the sense like to that device so obvious what is connected to the plc that also we have to understand because sometimes through the through that also we may get a issue in the plc okay so proper understanding of all the components related to the project you know must require for proper uh, troubleshooting so that's what we call it as effective troubleshooting okay so i'm going with the answer false so we have a eighth question here so plc diagnostic software tool can assist in real time monitoring and identification of errors within the plc system so diagnostic software tool 
is actually yes it is it it will help us to monitor the ident monitor the error is lively okay so these softwares are designed to provide real time monitoring analysis and diagnostics of the plc system and they can display uh, the error codes through that error codes we can get to know what exactly the error is okay and uh, you know it will show the trend also like uh, the live update of the process variable and some other relevant information also it will show okay so which will help to identify the fault some abnormal behavior within the system so these tools are instrumental in quick fault detection root cause analysis and preventive maintenance reducing the downtime and enhancing system reliability okay so i'm going with the answer true so we have a ninth question here error log and fault indicators within the plc can provide valuable clues during troubleshooting so without any doubt i can go for the answer true okay so fault indicators over the cpus or over the io modules really help us to identify where the exact problem is if you have a plenty of io modules connected to the plc and the cpu is throwing an error and also one of the io module will also be throwing an error you know using that fault indicator you can able to get to know okay because of this io module only we are getting this issue in the cpu like that you can able to get to know and also error logs like the plc softwares will be having some online diagnostics so you know the part of the software will be having so you can go there and see like what is the error log over there and uh, these kind of record uh, will show some warning messages with a time stamp also it will be showing okay by analyzing these logs and indicators troubleshooters can easily understand the nature uh, where exactly it happened and why that happened when that happened so it is you know easy for them to find out the resolution and easily recover the system okay so yes i'm going with the answer true so we have a last question here when troubleshooting a plc system it is advisable to start by randomly replacing suspected faulty components so this is like the person who is not knowing anything about it and just replacing the you know faulty components here and there okay so without proper diagnostics analysis analysis can lead to some additional problem and waste of time okay unnecessary expenses also sometimes so proper plc troubleshooting involves systematic inspection you know testing analysis and diagnostics to pinpoint the root cause of the problem okay so this is not like just like that or you have to do some groundwork before entering into the troubleshooting thing okay so tools are there you know using some multimeters even oscilloscope uh, you know uh, error logs and warning messages so these and all you have to go on through before doing that okay i'm going with the answer false so we are done with all 10 questions so you can move on to the next level using this next level link or you can review the answers and it will take you to the next page and also you can share the share your score to your friend and you can invite your friend uh, to also you know start these kind of uh, uh, you know uh, technical stuff okay uh, if you like this video kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel and share with your friends and uh, you know uh, grow together thank you